Is it true that it takes 21 days to form a habit? Is it true that your nervous system changes in six days when you're doing something repeatedly? Does it depend on the habit that one is trying to form? Or does it depend on the person that's trying to form the habit? It turns out that there's excellent peer-reviewed data on this. This study found that for the same habit to be formed, it can take anywhere from 18 days to as many as 254 days for different individuals to form that habit. What specific habit they were looking at? The specific behavior was a health-related behavior, which was taking walk after dinner. How did they know when they formed the habit? Well, they were doing it about 85% of the time. They also reported not having to spend that much mental effort in order to get into the mode of taking a walk after dinner. The mystery of why certain people can form certain habits more easily than others probably has something to do with how well people manage what's called limbic friction. Limbic friction is the strain that's required in order to overcome one of two states within your body. One state is one of anxiousness, where you're really anxious and therefore you can't calm down, you can't relax, and therefore you can't engage in some particular activity or thought pattern that you would like. The other state is one in which you're feeling too tired or lazy or not motivated. So using this Lally study as an example, some people would eat dinner and then say, oh, that's right. I'm trying to develop the habit of taking a walk after dinner. So let's get up and go. Other people will feel like, I just don't want to do it today. They're going to feel too much limbic friction. And that limbic friction could arrive, again, from one of two sources. It could be because they are too tired to do it, or it could be because they're too anxious and distracted in order to do it. This is a key distinction. A lot of habit formation has to do with being in the right state of mind and being able to control your state of body and mind. But as I said, people are highly variable. And if you can't form one habit easily, it doesn't mean that you can't form other habits easily.